Welcome everyone, another fascinating tour into the world of parasites. Well, I'm convinced uh, that parasites, viruses, and funguses probably create all disease. They probably create all horrible mental states and pretty much everything. They may be um, what causes people to be evil. They may come from outer space to control the species here as well. Parasites are the most intelligent species on the planet. Parasites, viruses, they cannot be stopped. They go everywhere and they take over. Well, here's a great book, and uh, this is just kind of a showing you this. I will review this book later uh, after I listen to it. This is a new way to get books. I didn't even know you could get a uh, book on Amazon. Um, that's an MP3. I mean, they do have Audible where you can do that, but you can actually order something like this, and a lot of people don't even have uh, CD players any longer. But I thought this was interesting and that I would get it, but... Uh, this is your brain on parasites, how teeny creatures manipulate our behavior and shape our society by Kathleen McUliff. Um, Mac Aleph. Um, and again, this is available on Amazon. I will present a link down below if you want to purchase this. You can get it on Kindle or like this for the same price. I think it's like $7 or something. But let's uh, read this here. It's very interesting that we can look at this. And, um, you know, we talked about this. There's an actual video on this. I wonder if she has any further insights. Uh, but these actual parasites that go into your brain is mind-boggling. I didn't know about this except a couple of years ago. Uh, these teen teeny organisms can live only inside another. That's how parasites work. Very fascinating. Um, in another animal. And Mick uh, Offlick Liff reveals uh, they have many evolutionary motives for manipulating uh, the host behavior. Far more often than appreciated, these puppeteers and I like that terminology, orchestrate the uh, interplay between uh, predator and prey. With astonishing precision, parasites can uh, coax rats to approach cats, spiders, to transform the pattern of their webs and fish to draw the attention of birds that then swoop down to feast on them. I mean, this is this is going against all of our understanding uh, based in evolution uh, that we are going to try and survive. These creatures get in your brain and tell you to kill yourself. Well, is this why society is so crazy to begin with? Where could we build nuclear power? We're constantly starting wars. We don't build hospitals. We don't have uh, billi trillions in medical research. Well, I mean, that's insanity. Why are we doing this? We humans are hardly immune to the uh, profound influences of parasites. Organisms we uh, pick up from our own pets are strongly suspected of changing our personality traits and um, contributing to reckless, impulsive, even suicide. Microbes uh, in our gut affect our uh, emotions, and the very wiring of our brains. Do you get that? Germs that cause uh, colds, flus, may be altering, and we've seen this with COVID, um, behavior even before symptoms become apparent. mind bot parasites influence our species on the cultural level, too. As the author uh, uh documents a subconscious fear of contagion impacts virtually every species, every aspect of our lives, from our, um, uh, from our body, of, uh, from our sexual attractions, social circles, to our morals and political views, drawing on a huge um, body of research. She argues that our 
dread of contamination is an, evolu an evolved defense against parasites and a double-edged sword. The horror and uh, revulsion that we feel when we come in contact with people who appear diseased or dirty helped give, help pave the way for civilization, but may also be the basis for our major divisions in societies that, and that persist to this day. In the tradition of Jared Diamond's Guns, Germs, and Steel, and Neil Shubin's Your Inner Fish, This Is Your Brain on Parasites, is both a journey into our cutting-edge science and a rev uh, revelatory examination of what is meant to be human. I don't know those books. I'm going to have to look into that as well. Uh, guns, Germs, and Steel, and Your Inner Fish. I don't quite understand that, but um, these would be interesting books if they, again, this is a serious area. We found that everybody who's under psychic attack, who's having any kind of problems, uh, whether these are spirit-based or not, uh, have huge amounts of parasites in them, followed by um, uh, viruses and, again, the most overlooked funguses, etc. And we're putting together uh, radionic uh, techniques to eliminate these, as well as using physical herbal, strong herbs, herbal herbs, uh, strong herbs to deal with these kind of things. Because the stuff you get in the store is crap, and it may not even be anything in there. It's really pathetic the kind of garbage that uh, you are thrown at you in society. So a fascinating book here. I will come back and give you a further report on this and what this author says. And you should check out on the YouTube channel there uh, the link to uh, the parasites and how they get into your mind, which talks about some of the things I just read here, how they go into your mind and tell you to do things. Uh, they've proven this with fish uh, who uh, have these parasites and they want to transfer the parasites into a different host. So they tell the fish to go to the top and birds eat them. Whoa. So they actually go against your basic instinct, which you think would be some of the strongest of survival, and you kill yourself. People think about suicide uh, a lot in life. I think we all do to some degree. We're fed up. People, why? That, doesn't that go against things? I mean, uh, the instinct to survive should be your largest. But why do we so easily throw this away? Why are we so suicidal as a society? And where do these parasites come from? Well, I have a strong suspicion, and there is extraterrestrial viruses, whether people want to believe this or not. And I believe that they are linked in a physical way. Because it's always better to do things and blend it in with your regular society. So if you have to go and do things um, and follow up on them, it's a bad way of doing things. Just like uh, these things we've had with the problems of, of um, uh, out there with bacteria that are dropped from the sky. We've had all these kind of chem clouds. They're all bacteriological based. And how do you do things? You're going to do this all the time? Well, no, you get the bacteria, the parasites into the human food chain, so to speak, in you and it does the job for you. When you start clearing out parasites, people feel much, much better. They perform better, and they are much more psychically empowered and strong. The people who can't do things with pendulums, can't dial radionic machines. Well, I've been testing these people. They're loaded with parasites. Once they get rid of the parasites, then they uh, function at much higher levels. Just shocking. This is one of the major keys. We're trying to do this on an energetic level. But uh, as of this point, uh, that certainly does work in a lot of the cases. But there's certainly, if you make proper herbal tinctures, which we're putting together complete kits for you, that all you have to do is add the alcohol, uh, you get fantastic results there 
uh, they are inexpensive when you make them the way we tell you how to make them. You get hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of tinctures that are good virtually forever. And um, you can use these consistently until we work out more energetic ways of doing things. But this is very important, people. I never heard of this until I saw a special on this three or four years ago. And nobody's really heard of this. Toxemia, I believe, is what it's called in the regular medical world. Uh, how do you get rid of them? Some people say you can't get them out of your brain. Well, that's not true. We can energetically get them out of your brain. What people don't understand is that these are in your life. There are some good bacteria um, that you must have in your uh, intestinal tract that is your immune system. Uh, but there's also a lot of bad stuff that is killing the good stuff. So we need to uh, definitely uh, look into this area. And we're going, uh, the IGS is going big time into this entire area, uh, both radionically to work on the energetic informational fields that uh, can uh, destroy these things, as well as going after them physically, uh, which works very powerfully. And I've been using strong tinctures now for four or five years and it knocks out everything. You just have to find the things that work for a particular item. And I'm working on parasites now, but uh, all of these kind of viruses that seem to hit you, if you take strong herbals, in my understanding, with my personal results and the people that are around me, it works amazing. Just amazing. It will knock out virtually everything in a very natural food type way. So I hope you enjoyed this. I will get back to you after listening to this and give you a full report on this in particular. If you want to go ahead and jump in and get this, check the link below.